Welcome to the Hamstead Analytics Daily Market Commentary. I'm Pablo Navarro. Today is Thursday, April 5th, 2012. For the economic data, today we got initial claims and we had 357,000. We were expecting 355,000, but it was the best number we had since 2008. The markets, the S&P 500 futures, saw a high of the day of 1397.25 and a low of the day of 1387.5. We closed at 1390.25. Today's volume was 1.5 million contracts, a little lower than the 20-day moving average at 1.65 million contracts. For the Nasdaq futures, we saw a high of the day of 2760.75 and a low of the day of 2733.25. We closed at 2755.25. Today's volume was 20, 225,000 contracts, a little light of the 20-day moving average. For the market internals, the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline differential closed at negative 446. The Nasdaq advanced decline differential closed at negative 155. There were 19 new 52-week highs for the S&P 500 and 10 new 52-week lows for the S&P 500. For the volatility, there were around 550,000 contracts traded today and over a million dollars on total premium. For the dollar-weighted put-call ratio for April, we saw a bullish reading of 4.39 with 23% of the total premium space. For May, we saw a bearish reading of 0.19 with 17% of the total premium space. June saw a 3.97 which is bullish and had 30% of the total premium space. And July saw a very bearish reading with a high premium of 28% of the total premium space and it had a 0 0.01 dollar weighted put call ratio. Okay, here we have the ES daily chart right now. As you can see, we are two and a half, three handles down right now. We have CI continue to point downward. CI dip continues to gain momentum to the downside. We are also below the zero sig line right now. We today we touched the negative one sig and bounce a little. We found some buyers there, but um, today wasn't as bad as this morning looked. We were down almost 10 handles again, came back up, even went and test overnight highs. Wasn't, we're not able to break those highs to the upside and then just sold off again. Finished almost flat for the cash session. You could see here, we tried to test at the highs here, and then we sold off throughout the day. And that's basically flat for the day, two handles down. As for the moving averages, here we have the daily chart again. We're below the 20-day moving average. We're looking for tomorrow's non-farm payroll to see what happens if we get a pop again and try to test the highs, or if we are finally going to get the correction. For the gold chart, here we have the daily chart for gold futures. We had some of, somewhat of a dead cat bounce here, 1% higher today. Still, we're looking at the 1631 level, some some resistance here on the short term. We need to see what happens tomorrow. Again, with gold, same goes for silver. Up two percent today, but again, yesterday it was down six percent, so not much here. We're gonna keep continue to watch what happens tomorrow, basically with all the markets, and for the bonds before the non-farm. Today we're up 0.77%. Uh, we're looking at some type of support resistance here on the 39.632 level. We took almost all of the sell off we had two days ago. We came back above the 200 day moving average. We couldn't close at the highs today, but still we were up. So we'll watch today, tomorrow what happens with the bond. After non-farm, we'll have a close eye on this one. For the VIX, the VIX today closed 1.5% higher, not much. We're still looking at the 50-day moving average at 